Nothing derails a golf round more than three putting. The best putters in the world are making up to 90% of their two putts from 40 feet. Are you leaving the green shaking your head? Well, today I have the one concept that's gonna help with your speed control and help for once and for all to improve your three putts. I'm Sam Vossler, lead instructor for the Sanford Power Golf Academy and with my good friends at US Golf TV. And today we're gonna to discuss how to use our eyes more in the pre-shot routine to improve your distance control on the putting greens. Most golfers tend to be too technical or static over the golf ball when they're putting. A lot of times they're not looking at the target enough when they're over their putts. So I see too many golfers over the time looking at their stroke, trying to get it perfect when really they need to be looking at the hole more. So golf is a feel sport. We wanna use our hand-eye coordination. We wanna be able to figure out the depth of that target. In this case, it's the golf hole. And within that, we're figuring out really what the length of our stroke is along with the power within that stroke. If you think of the best athletes in the world, you think of Steph Curry, NBA basketball player. When Steph is shooting a free throw, he's not looking at the actual motion of his stroke, he's looking at the target, which is the basket. Same thing with Tom Brady when he's zipping a ball across the middle to his receiver, he's looking at a point, he's not thinking about how he's actually throwing the motion. Well this is where golf is challenging and different as it's a static sport and we're not able to actually look at the target while we're putting. Well, I'm gonna give you three steps today. If you implement, this is gonna improve your distance control with your leg putting. The next time you step up to your ball after getting a read on the green, I want you to implement these three steps. The first step that I want you to do, again, everybody has a little bit different pre-shot routine, but let's say you're off the ball. A lot of times people like to get a feel for their stroke by looking down. Okay, so make about three or four continuous strokes. And from here, I want you to actually look up at the hole and start to use your eyes and start to feel out how far is that target. So when we're doing this, the actual process is we're trying to figure out, okay, what is the length of my stroke need to be along with the actual power of it? So we're actually using our eyes as a tool and visualization to help with that process. So that would be step one. I'd like to see for you, to make some strokes after a while that are continuous. I don't wanna see them just stop like this. I'd like to see them be continuous. So that'd be step one. Step two, and this one is very important, is once we get our putter in there, you can see I haven't set my feet yet. I'm gonna get my putter aligned to my target. And once I do this, I'm gonna look at the hole and I'm gonna actually set my feet while I'm looking at the target. So this is very important, so I'm allowing my my eyes to set my feet. Now this process probably happens in like two or three seconds. So it's not something that takes 10 or 15 seconds. That's the last thing we're trying to do here. So step three, after you've got your feet aligned, after the putters set down towards your target, the easiest thing is to make two or three more glances from the hole back to the putter. So if you do this, that's gonna allow you for one last second to get a good feel of visualizing how far away that hole is and it could create an image in your head before you putt. So if we do this correctly, I'm just gonna go through the whole routine again. Step one, I'm feeling my strokes out, looking at the target, anywhere from four to five seconds. Step two, I'm getting my putter aligned to where I want that ball to start. I'm looking at the target while I'm setting my feet. And step three, I'm gonna make a couple last glances at the hole and I'm gonna roll the putt. If you do this, you're gonna improve your speed control, you're gonna three putt less and you're gonna even make a couple bombs.